Hey guys! This was originally going to be titled Salvaging the Ugliest Painting in the World, but I thought that was a little dramatic, so instead I'm calling it Salvaging a Really Ugly Painting. I recently rewatched The Castle of Cagliostro, the animated film, and I felt inspired to paint a background. Acrylic gouache is the obvious choice here since that is what seems to have been used to paint backgrounds in many older Japanese animations. So after some quick sketching without much thought, I dove right in, but things quickly went awry. I was weak from hunger because I hadn't eaten lunch yet and it was around 2pm. My mind and body weren't cooperating, so I had little control over the amount of water I was picking up and mixing, and thus the proper paint consistency could not be made. With my added impatience, I started dabbing random colors everywhere, and this began unveiling horrors. Uh, yeah, I'm being dramatic again. <laughs> but it looked, it looked horrible. Also, the sun was shifting in and out, which added to the craze. You will see later, the sun kept, the light kept moving around. I've noticed that in many older Japanese animations, the artists have sometimes chosen some weird color combos, but they somehow end up pulling it off into an interesting final product that is charmingly gritty yet simple. And I was trying to do that, but um, it wasn't happening yet. Look up background art from 70s and 80s animations. You'll see there are some bold, sometimes clashing color choices. And animation art nowadays, I feel is so different. The paintings can be so unbelievably pristine, realistic, and beautiful, like the art from Makoto Shinkai's films. Uh, if you haven't seen any of his films, I really recommend you do. Because, oh my god, like the art alone is eye candy, wonderful to look at. Gosh, I really need to stop moving my mic around so much because it's making all those clacking noises you hear. So around this point, um, I thought I wasn't really getting anywhere. There wasn't, you know, a vast improvement no matter what I did. But I took a few minutes of a break and the acrylic wash paints continued to harden. Um, so I struggled to revive the paints with water, doing a lot of swirling action. And lo and behold, the proper consistency finally came about. And this is where the salvaging begins. It's crazy how adding some sharp line work can make the painting come alive. Doing this was an immediately noticeable improvement. Why am I talking like this? Voiceovers are awkward. Eee. Yeah. By the way, my phone was having some problems, so I also did some painting off camera. So as you will see in a few-ish seconds, uh, I stopped the painting when I no longer felt that it was a fail, but that it was passably alright. It's still ugly, <laughs> but no longer really ugly or the ugliest in the world. So the lessons I've learned from doing this is, are to have enough focus to mix the right pink consistency, uh, I still need to limit my color palette even more down to two to three colors plus white and black. And in order to focus, I should not work on an empty stomach, ever. <laughs> so let's hope the next round of gouache goes better than this. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.